Hi guys, welcome to another video review. This is a bit of a lazy one for me because I'm absolutely exhausted. I've spent the last couple of weeks trying to do a astral projection at 4am in the morning and it's killing me. So I thought rather than whizzing around changing the camera angles, I've got two cameras. If I want to show you close up shots, I can just use this camera here. So let's, let's crack on and uh, take a look at this product. So what we've got here is a 4K action camera by DB Power. I recently did a review of a 4K action camera by a company called Orky. So I'll be able to do a bit of a comparison between the two. So this is the box it comes in. Now I've had this out of the box already. Took it to the park yesterday and was playing around with it. This is the uh, main unit in its walkproof housing and then you've got a box of accessories here and some more up the top What's that that's to use if you've got a bike you can just tighten it up onto your handlebars There's a bag of straps there, like Velcro straps to attach it to stuff. Charging cable, cleaning cloth and the tether. You've got two batteries, there's one, and the other one's already in the unit. And last but not least, you've got the user manual. It's in all different languages. So that's it unboxed. So now let's take a look at the product, shall we? What papa? Oh, he just burped in my face. You'll notice on the front it's got a um, mirror finish on it. And that's actually really handy when you're talking into the camera because you can pretty much gauge where your face is just from um, your reflection on that. So that works really well because obviously you haven't got a flip viewer like you have on this camera. So that I, I really like the fact that you can actually sort of position your face when you're recording. Now the material, it's almost rubbery, it's a nice matte surface. Um, now, around the back, let's pull this off. Oh, that's so satisfying, I love pulling those bits off. My brother, he'll buy a product that's got these on and he'll leave it on. He'll have something for a couple of years and it will still have this little bit of stupid plastic stuck on it. Crazy. Now one of the things I really like about this camera compared to the Yorkie and a lot of other action budget action cameras, the DB has got the threaded hole already underneath. So that means you can just take any standard tripod, screw it on, and you go. No mucking about with having to use an additional housing. With this camera, you get a bigger battery than you do on the Yorkie. If I offer the two together, you can see there's a slight difference there in size. The DB power battery is actually 1200 milliamp hour, so you could get an extra 20%, so that's really cool, I like that. Next is touchscreen, which is super handy. So before I switch this on, I just want to tell you what I think about this build quality. Overall, I'm really impressed with it. The only thing I don't like is the cover plate on the side here. It's not secure enough in my opinion. It doesn't really sort of click into place. so. I reckon you could lose that. I would like to see a port cover that's attached. Battery cover, that's really stiff. That's going nowhere. I'll show you the specifications and what you can do is you can just pause the video. Okay, so hopefully you could see that. The chipset NT96660, two gigs memory, image sensor, is a Sony IMX078. Lens is 170 degrees. Resolutions, you've got Ultra HD at 24 frames per second, that's 2880 by 2160. Uh, QHD at 30 frames, which is 2560 by 1440. Then you've got Full HD, which is 60 frames per second, and that's your 1920 by 1080p. And then it goes all the way down to um, 240 frames per second 
at 640 res so that's pretty cool the underwater housing is good to 30 meters I'm gonna sneeze <coughs> oh bless me <coughs> oh. maximum um, memory card is 64 gigabytes oh and it's got Wi-Fi on it I'll demonstrate the Wi-Fi and the app that works with it it's not obvious in the manual how to get it to work uh, in fact I saw a couple of people on the Amazon reviews saying that it doesn't even have Wi-Fi well it does you just it's difficult to understand how to get it implemented as for the app um, it definitely needs improvement I'll show you that in a second but um, there's the specs for you to turn it on you just hold your finger on the side here for a few seconds This will take you into video record mode, you can see that by the icon in the bottom left there. Now if I touch that, I'll switch to still photography mode. If I touch it again, I'll switch to playback mode. And if I touch it again, I'm into the main settings of the camera. So let's just show you the main settings here. So you can change the date and the time for the timestamp. Auto power off, I've turned that off because I was doing a um, time lapse earlier and I didn't want it to auto power off. Beep sound, so if you want to stop that annoying beep, turn that off. There we go. Voice prompt. Now that's quite useful, if, especially if you've got the screen off, to know if you're recording or not, just from that audio notification. So you can choose languages. There's quite a lot of languages there, blimey. The frequency, TV mode, that's if you're playing back on a TV. Um, microphone off or on, because you can get a USB microphone and plug that in, which might be a wise thing to do because the microphone on, on this isn't that good to be honest. All data will be deleted, format, return to main menu, and the version. Um, screen save, I'll turn that off for now. Okay, so that's the main settings. Now, if you want to change specific settings for each mode, you do that with the cog icon on the other side. You also get these settings. The first one is obviously to choose your um, resolution and frame rate. There's tons to choose from there. Um, loop recording, if you want it to re record over the top of existing footage. WDR, again I don't know what that is. Exposure. Motion detection, this is really good actually. If anything moves in front of the camera it starts recording. Uh, record audio. Date stamp on or off. Angle. Um, I don't know if this actually works, it didn't seem to work for me, but 170 degrees is the maximum. Gyroscope, off and on. I did record some footage with it on and off and I couldn't really see much of a difference to be honest. Time lapse record. Time lapse is pretty good, it doesn't take individual photographs like the Orky one does, it actually creates a video file for you. Um, so that's pretty cool. They're the individual settings for um, video mode. Still camera mode. Got your resolution goes from 20 megapixels down to 3 megapixels. Self timer, burst mode, quality, sharpness, white balance, anti shaking, quick review, date stamp, ISO. Exposure value, WDR, and different scene settings, light painting, portrait, night scene, off. I'll be honest, I haven't toyed with that, but that's interesting. These are the settings for um, playback, so you can change the volume level, delete, lock your pictures, unlock them. Right guys, let's uh, quickly show you how the Wi-Fi works. So to turn it on, you just have to hold your finger on this top button here, and you'll see the 
icon appear. Now that's ready. And you can see it's flashing on the side there. Okay, so the app that you need to download, uh, and it's in the manual, is called CamKey. Now once you've got that app, you just select your Wi-Fi, and you'll see on there that you'll have a new one that says Action Cam, and you basically just click that. You see there? It's saying it's connected, and that's gone to a solid blue light now. Okay, so now if I open that up, there you can see you've got a live view there. And you can uh, fiddle around with some settings, I think, if I click on this video record size. So there's quite a few settings there you can toy with uh, and you can switch to camera mode, take a picture. So I can start and stop the recording. Now what I can do up here, no sorry, down here is switch to playback mode. Now unfortunately it just lists it like that it would have been better to see thumbnails but there you go so I can I can watch back the footage directly on my phone and I can also download it and you'll see up here download successful it's quite quick actually at downloading so now that's that would be on my phone if I was to go into my gallery There it is there, you see? And then to come out of the Wi-Fi mode, you just press this up button again. Okay, so here's some footage. Now this is shot at 1080p at 60 frames per second. And if you look at the date and time in the bottom right, you can see the size of it. Later on, I'll have it in 4K and you'll see the size of that writing gets smaller because I'm basically shrinking the video footage down by 50% in order to upload it at 1080p. But what I'll do is I'll put links in the description on the video to footage that's at 4K. So if you've got a 4K monitor, then you can uh, watch it in 4K. Okay, so this is at 4K. I've scaled it down to 1080p for this review. Um, so this is in bright daylight. Guys, check out this cherry tree. Look at these cherries. That tree's full of them. Give it a taste. That was disgusting. It's funny narrating over my video. <laughs> I feel like Morgan Freeman. Nah. <laughs> he likes to chase squirrels in here. Baxter. Okay, so this is in low light. This is like half six in the evening in a really dense canopy. So you can see the quality um, is a little bit more grainy because it's obviously compensating for the low light. So there you go, guys. That's my look at the DB Power 4K touchscreen action cam. If you found it useful, if you've got any questions, leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and maybe consider subscribing. Quick message to all my existing subscribers. If you watched my last video until the end and left a comment with nice one, then I'm going to do uh, a giveaway video very shortly to announce the winner. Um, I haven't sussed out the method I'm going to use yet, but I want to try and include Baxter somehow. Um, I'll have a think about it while I'm editing this video. So thanks guys and I'll see you soon.